Hey everyone, welcome back to the Art to Life vlog. I wanted to talk today about something I see and hear from a lot of artists. Uh, this idea that the art making is really cool, but the business part of this is not so cool and uh, not so fun. And so I wanted to just lay it, drop this simple idea uh, that you do not have to think of them as separate. And I know that that's counterintuitive, but it's how I think about it and it might be helpful for you. So don't put them in different camps, promoting your work um, and making your work. I try to think of, and maybe this could be a challenge for you, you know, what is the one simple thing you can do to get your art out there uh, that would, would feel nourishing for you, would feel energizing for you, just like your art making. Think about making art, think about what you love about it, and then uh, kind of reverse engineer it, the promotion of it, so you ha have that similar feeling. So an example of this, um, I had, a, there was an open studios, open studios are kind of, uh, they do them a lot in our building. And it's really fun. You get to meet people and everything. But it isn't, uh, it's a lot of time. And, you know, you're open all day. You know, you're like a shopkeeper. You got your door open and people are coming in. Some, sometimes not. Sometimes there aren't people there for a while, you know. And uh, one year I kind of forgot about it. And I was just painting and I had headphones on. And I was, and, but people just think for whatever reason that because this is an open studio, they just try the door, believe it or not, and they just open it and you know, all of a sudden look behind me and I'm, I had headphones on, but people were in there. I was like a, an aquarium, you know, people coming in and looking at me, painting, and because I had fed headphones on, they weren't talking to me, um, which was kind of okay. But at first it was a little disturbing, but then it's like, well, okay. And then once the door was open, more people came in, and they were actually really interested in, in uh, what I was doing. And I was having a great time because I was making my art. I wasn't just sitting around all, all the whole weekend. So it was kind of great. And most people wouldn't talk to me, um, but occasionally someone would come along and you can kind of tell they're really pretty serious, you know, more serious, someone who might want to purchase something or, you know, someone uh, has an important question and they, they'd, hey, can I ask a question or, you know. And so... I sort of discovered this, but this is a way to promote. Uh, I'm not so into doing open studios for endless days because I like making art better. But this was really great because I was, I was promoting in a way that was really aligned because I love making art. So just doing it, it, it doesn't bother me to paint in front of people. So this was a huge lesson for me. So it's a great question to ask yourself, you know, if, if you know, maybe it's, um, you know, doing video of, of how you're making your art or some aspect, uh, you know, I always, Christmas comes and I'm, I hate that, I hate the wrapping paper that's out there most of the time. I can't stand buying it, it's so expensive. And so I just take brown paper and I paint on these presents. It's really simple, but it's really fun. And it just makes cool Christmas presents, you know. And, you know, so it's like, that's how do you do this? What's this one way you can do something, promote your work, um, that would feel nourishing in the way your art nourishes you. And I don't know what that is for you. So I'm curious, leave a note in the comments, but this is how you start promoting yourself. It's, you don't just do what everybody else does because that, you think that's the way things have to go. Um, you want to share in a way that gives you more energy, not less. And once you're doing that, once you're promoting in a way that makes yourself feel more alive, just like your art, that separation between those two activities goes away. And it's a game changer. Anyway, um, let me know, in the, let us know in the comments any ideas you have. Uh, maybe this is, uh, you know, something you're already involved in. I'd love to hear. This week on the podcast, you guys, um, 
um, talking about promotion a little more deeply. Uh, maybe it's like a line promotion, promotion that's in congruence. You know, how do you think about these things, about galleries, about um, promotion, uh, social followers, all that, um, and, and not accept the status quo of it? You know, how do you do all this? Um, how do you work in a way uh, that, that gives you uh, more energy so you can promote yourself and get more energy for your art, more energy for your promotions? The whole thing kind of lifts together. Anyway, I'll be talking about that on the podcast. There's a link down below. Um, so uh, please subscribe down there and um, leave me a comment. Hope you guys are having the best weekend and um, you get to make some art this weekend. Okay, thanks. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this. Awesome.